Hello there, child of God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's um, always a, an honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. I always feel privileged to be in a position where God puts me to relay prophetic messages to you because I know it's a message that is coming in time for someone to direct you, to guide you, to give you specific instructions per time. And my prayer right now is that this video just gets to the right person that needs it right now in the name of jesus god bless all our first timers please consider becoming a part of our family by subscribing and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that each time there is a fresh word you will not miss out hallelujah god bless you and to all my returning subscribers i love you you are the reason why i'm here you're the reason why I keep believing God for prophetic messages so that your life can have directions, so that you can be blessed and be fed spiritually. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so God says that he regrets messing with you. You know, things are a little messy right now. Things are not going the way you would have wanted them to right now. It's messy. The situation with you right now is kind of messy. But God says this is because you have been chosen for something extraordinary. You've been chosen for something very, very important. There is someone under the sound of my voice. Your life is not going towards the direction you thought it would at this point in time. You know, we all have plans in our heart. We all have things we want to achieve. The Bible says many are the plans in a man's heart, but only God's will for him will prevail. Only that which God wants for him will actually prevail. Many of us, we have plans, we have things we want to do, we have goals and you, you are so frustrated right now because you're not, you, you don't seem to be meeting the target. You don't seem to be doing the things that you were hoping at the stage of your life you will be doing. Things are not just right the way you had envisaged. And you are feeling so frustrated. You are asking yourself, why is all of this happening? What is going on? You're looking at yourself. Time is going. You're looking at your achievement. They don't really tie. You know, the Lord sent me for you today. He said, the reason why things are happening to you and the reason why things seem a little bit messy is because you have been chosen. God really regrets that you have to go through this pain. God really regrets that you have to go through what you're going through. Each time God lays these kind of prophetic messages in my heart, it always comes with a heavy burden because each and every one of us, there is something particularly we are believing God for that we are yet to see. There are, there are better things ahead that we hope for and it is yet to happen. And there are people, when you're going through, you know, there is a fun that we make here over here in Cameroon. There are people who say that, God, please remove some money that is in my future and give it to me now i'm going to die you know there are times in your life like that where you feel like you are going to die if god does not give you that thing now okay you say yes lord i know that you have these blessings in store for me i know that my my future is prosperous i know that it's going to be better i know but can you just borrow a part of what is going to happen um and just let me let me just have a, a bit of it right now i'm going to die especially when we are talking about financial scarcity when your life is undergoing a kind of financial scarcity and you keep hearing prophecies that tells you that god is going to bless you um, um, financially you are going to be so blessed there is a point that you say god please can you not just remove from that financial blessing that is coming in the future and give me now i am about to die if you don't do it i'm going to die you know i don't know if you've been in that place but you feel like you are suffocating your present reality is suffocating you you feel like you can't take any more one more step if god does not intervene you feel like if god doesn't say something right now it's not going to be well you are going to die god regrets god regret passing you through what you are going through if there was another way around it he would have chosen that
but because God has seen you are a chosen one and there is something particular he wants for you and there is a route for that chosen thing there is a route for that chosen prophecy there is a route God has a particular thing he wants you to become and there is a route towards becoming that whenever I am sharing this prophetic word I always remember the story of Jesus you know the Bible says in the book of Revelations that worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and honor and riches and wisdom and strength and glory and and, and, and riches you know all of those things that was the price Jesus dying on the cross he did not just die for your sins you know Jesus died because there was greater that he had to achieve. There was greater. Jesus died to reconcile you back to the Father, granted. But there were many things that were attached to the death of Jesus on the cross. One of which was you, redeeming you back to God. But another one was for the things he was going to achieve as well. He says to receive wisdom, to receive power, to receive honor, to receive strength, to receive glory. All of those things were attached to his dying on the cross. And so when he was crying and he said, my Lord, my God, why have you forsaken me? God was silent because God had seen the bigger picture. God had seen a great reward coming. God had seen the importance of his death. You are in that place right now and there are times you cry and you say, my Lord, my God, why have you forsaken me? I feel aband abandoned. I feel like I have been left all to myself. I feel like I have been kept in this place and you have turned your eyes away from me. Can you look at me, oh God, with your eyes of mercy and make things better right now? And God is saying, I would, do, I would have done that if you were not chosen. But there is a part I have placed you on. There is a part I have placed you on. And for you to get to your desired destination, you've got to validate these causes. You've got to go through this pain. You've got to, you know, I have realized that people that God has kingdom agenda for them, people that are supposed to be kingdom giants. I'm not talking about the giants of the world. I'm talking about being kingdom giants. There is a route that God passes you through. It is not like every other person. And in any other thing, maybe your marriage is supposed to be a definition of kingdom marriage. God is not just going to just serve it to you like that on a platter. There are protocols to be observed. There are things that God has to validate in your life before he would release such to you without which you would pray you would cry you would do everything and it is not happening yet it always hurts god when you are going through those things but he has learned to close his eyes to our tears when we are in the process he has learned to close his eyes to our tears when he is still passing us through what he has to do for us to get to our desired end because he has seen the bigger picture and he has seen that the end will be glorious and when the end eventually happens you will not remember that you went through the pain you went through you will not remember that it was a difficult time and a difficult season for you it's going to be all smiles it's going to be all laughter it's going to be all testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that God will strengthen you even as you go through your process. And I pray that God will hasten the time of your testimony. I pray that God will hasten the time of your breakthrough. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.